discuss the definitions which have been defined in Land Acquisition Act 1894. You know that the definitions are of very significant importance. Under Section 3, we will discuss its uh, expression, its terminologies. Land, person interested, company, public purpose, and which law is associated with it. First of all, land. Land includes land and anything attached to the land. Whether it is permanently present to the land, earth, that is included in the land. If there are the crops, standing crops, you have not cut them, that is the part of the land. If there are some poles, that is the part of the land, that is included in the definition of land. Person interested is that person who has a claim in any respect, whether it is a, te a tenant or lessee or a bank who has given some loan to the owner. Then the collector. Collector is a government officer <laughs> that has been appointed in a district and he is the most senior revenue officer of that district. He has classified uh, powers under uh, Land Revenue Act 1967. He is among the highest uh, revenue officer in a, in a district. Then company, company means company, uh, the company enacted or made incorporated under company act 2016 <coughs> or it may be some, some society act or cooperative act. Yeah, for example, I have given you the example of cooperative acts. For example, uh, cooperative society acts 1912, 1912, and then the society registration act 1860. That is the company. Public purpose <coughs> as it is has been defined in the official gazette by the provincial government. What are the public purpose for which you are going?